Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Veda. And today I thought I would sit down and do a little first impressions review of some Kylie Cosmetics products that I just picked up. So I completely like didn't realize it, but Ulta is now selling Kylie Cosmetics, which is really exciting. The closest Ulta to me is about an hour away, but I just happened to be uh, in the next town over earlier today. So I thought I would stop in to Ulta and lo and behold, they have a bunch of Kylie Cosmetics products now. So I've never owned any uh, Kylie Cosmetics products. I, I've thought about buying them several, several times and I've put them in my cart several times, but their shipping was like $10 for one lip gloss. And I was like, nope. <laughs> so now that they're in a, in like an actual store near me and I can actually swatch them and see them in person and um, you know, see how they react and are, uh, I thought I would pick some up and I had some points on my Ulta account so I didn't even spend as much money as I should have, <laughs> which is always nice. Um, okay, so the three products I got, let's see. So I got the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Savage and then I got the Kylie Jenner Lip Gloss in Literally. <laughs> and then I got the Kylie Jenner Gloss in Coco K, which sounds a lot to me like KKK, which is a little... Okay, okay. Ah. So yeah, so first I should take off this lipstick. I've been wearing this lipstick all day and it looks insane right now. I just got done eating pizza. I'm drinking a gin and tonic and it, shit's just bad on my face. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm not even gonna stop filming. I'm just gonna fucking do it while you sit here and watch me smear some red off my mouth. Today was such an overwhelming day. <laughs> I guess I had so much to do. I have pizza in my teeth. Uh, oh well, if you see something in my teeth, it's pizza. <laughs> uh, so I've started off my day waking up at six o'clock in the morning to get ready to go over to the next town, which is Wenatchee. Uh, and it is about an hour away. <laughs> Hard to talk and do this at the same time. But um, I, had a, I had a makeup job doing makeup for my friend's boudoir photo shoot and she even took some pictures of me which is really exciting so I can't wait to see those and then right after that I went I went to this adoption event at the middle school here where my best friend Chelsea adopted her little sister which was really sweet and I cried so every she had so many people there supporting her it was just so cute and wonderful um I look crazy right now and then after that, I went and watched the new Fantastic Beast movie, and then I stopped in at Ulta, and then I drove an hour home. I was supposed to go to a party today, but I think I'm just gonna stay home and play with makeup, because <laughs> I'm like a little socialed out, you know what I mean? Like I'm just, like I came home and I took my dog out, and I just like did, wanted to do nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to like lay in bed and maybe take a bath, but I'm also really excited about these lip glosses and I want to wear them tomorrow, but I wanted to film them. So I just like, oh, so now I'm sitting here talking to nobody. <laughs> so that red kind of stained my mouth a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and put some foundation over my mouth just so that I have a nice blank canvas to work with and you guys can see the color for what it's actually supposed to be and not like tinted red from my fucking lipstick from earlier. And this foundation is really light anyway, so it's not that crazy. Um, I loved the new Harry Potter movie, by the way. It was so good. I guess it's not Harry Potter. It's Fantastic Beasts and where to find them but it was great and I want to go watch it again and I want to sit down and watch every single Harry Potter movie back to back now which like there's 10 of them now if you include the Fantastic Beasts movies like basically it's gonna be like a whole like TV series like a Netflix series at some point like which is the amount of movies they're making which I'm all for it like let's bring more Harry Potter like, can we just, I want everybody's backstory. I want McGonagall's backstory. I want Albus Dumbledore's backstory, which we got a little bit in this new one. I'm excited about this. Um, I want fucking Luna Lovegood's parents' backstory. I want Lucius Malfoy's backstory. Uh, we got a little bit of like the Lestrange family's backstory in this new movie. And I, I want to know more about like Bellatrix's like upbringing and like who the fuck she is. Uh, my friend Chelsea is like really into Harry Potter and she knows like all of this shit already. So I probably should just like, ask her <laughs> but 
I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy that they're continuing to make Harry Potter movies and that like, maybe when I have kids, they'll grow up watching Harry Potter and I'm, that's just. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get into this. I'm gonna start with the, hmm, how should I do this? I'm gonna start with the lip glosses because I think they'll be easier to remove. Um, I'm gonna start with literally just because it's the first one that I picked up. <laughs> All right, I'm opening it. what it looks like I think her packaging is fucking wonderful um it feels very similar to like the Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging um her like signatures to me is like too cutesy I don't like that but overall it looks cute um I'm just gonna open her up Ooh, that was a little stringy I'm gonna show you that watch oh <laughs> That's so gross. Okay. Well, let's see how it applies. All right, here I go. This is literally. Oh, I hate her applicator. Oh, I hate it. Oh, this is the worst. I really wish she would have used a doe foot applicator. This like brush bullshit. I don't know if you can see this. It's like so stupid. It's bad. It just doesn't feel good when you do it. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, it's so tiny and it's like stiff. Oh, I just like, I just had to soften it up on my, that's a little better. It's a little less stiff. So you have to like, like soften the bristles before you like start to apply it. Right now it looks like I have dog shit on my mouth. Is that chocolate or poop? Uh, I'm gonna pick some more up. I'm gonna stop. Let's see, let's see if it does it again. I don't really own any lip glosses that actually have this amount of pigment in them. So first off the bat, like it's really pigmented. And once I got past like having a stiff applicator, it feels a lot better. First of all, this application is not gonna be good. <laughs> like I'm just gonna tell you this, I'm doing this quick. I wanna go take a bath and I wanna nap. <laughs> so this is just, I need to stop putting the mirror in front of my face. Hmm. So it feels a little sticky. And I'm having a hard time not getting brush strokes. That's literally. It's literally kind of turdy. It smells really nice. The pigmentation is amazing. It looks pretty. Um, it's a little sticky. Like I probably, let's see. Let's do like a hair test, shall we? Let's see if my hair will get stuck in it. Yep. <laughs> my hair definitely gets stuck in it, but it's a, lip, it's a lip gloss. So that's like bound to happen. I don't know if, how I feel about this shade. I really like, I sat there for a while trying to figure out which colors to get and like this girl at Ulta and I were just like going back and forth together like, mm, but this one's like more brown. Like, should I get this one or should I get the other one? And I was like, oh, what if I just get all three? <laughs> and so I did, I got all three. I think this might look really nice layered. This color itself, I'm not, I don't know if I'm vibing for it, but I kind of wanted to be like Kylie Jenner and have like those like brown lips, you know? I'm sure all of you guys like feel me. Her lip are always so pretty so I'm gonna take this off and then we'll go into the next color and then I will do the I'll do literally first this was literally um, and then I'll do Coco K and then I'll do Savage which is the liquid lipstick and then I'll see what they look like layered so I'll see what Savage looks like layered with one of the lip glosses I don't think I'll do both but one of them oh my my pad put all this cotton on my mouth got cotton mouth I don't want to kill myself all right, so that was easy enough to remove. It didn't really stain my lips any. That red is still there from earlier. I'm just gonna put my foundation brush over my mouth just to tone that red down a little bit. All right, so that was the first one. Let's see what Coco K. Why don't you just call it Coco? Like, I cannot say Coco K without thinking of the KKK. That's fucking terrible. That's fucked up. <laughs> okay, so Coco K. I need to stop saying the name of it. Uh, that's what that looks like. 
It's kind of a pinkier color than that, uh, than literally. Literally, it was kind of brown. All right, let's open it. Ooh, it didn't do the weird stringy thing like the other one did. That's a good sign. I'm just gonna try to like bend it a little bit on the, cause the last one was so stiff that I just, oop, it did the stringy thing. Okay, in we go. Oh, I love this color. I'm so glad the girl talked me into getting all three of the colors I was trying to get. This is like my favorite kind of like lip color. It's like this perfect pinky nude color. That's Coco K on my lips. It's like what I would, I would wear this color every day and I probably will wear this color every day now. <laughs> like I think this might have become my favorite lip product. I've been like leaning toward glosses a lot lately, which is weird because I've never really owned any lip glosses. Like I have like a couple sample sizes of the Buxom lip glosses. And then like I had a Marc Jacobs sample for a while and those are like the only lip glosses I had. I'm happy to have some new fucking glosses. And I like this color a lot. All right, um, so yep, that's Coco K. Coco K, that's the worst. I cannot stop, it's the worst name for a lip gloss. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> Why didn't they like that, run that by somebody? You wanna say hi? Come on. Hi, this is Clover. You're interrupting my review. Do you like my lip gloss? Hmm? You like mama's lip gloss? Oh, my little clover girl. My little clover girl. All right, gotta be quiet now. I'm reviewing lip gloss, okay? How do girls do like videos where they do like 85 lip swatches on their mouth? That's dedication and commitment kind of shit I don't have. All right, let's jump into Savage which is the velvet lip, liquid lipstick. The velvet liquid lipstick I got from Kylie. Oh, I should mention, um, the two lip glosses were $15 and then the liquid lipstick was $16, which I think those are great fucking prices. Like Kylie's products are not extremely expensive, which is really nice. I do think that they're like a nice little splurge. Okay, so that's Savage. Same packaging, it's kind of like a terracotta e nude. And let's see what that looks like when you open it. Uh -huh. There's a doe foot applicator on this one, which is the kind of applicator I prefer. I don't really like the applicator on the, on the two lip glosses, but this one's better, hopefully. Let's see. First off, this smells so good. It's very reminiscent of some of the uh, Bare Minerals lip good lipsticks. I think this is really pretty. Oh, and it's very soft. Like, it's not super liquidy. It's very, like, smooth. Again, this application is just gonna be shit fuck, so. Oh, I did it now. Just call me Kylie. Oh, mama. <laughs> I'm really bad at liquid lipstick. It takes me like a while to get it right. <laughs> I'm that thing from uh, from Monsters Inc. That's what it is. I'm that thing from Monsters Inc. The guy who gets like his lips sucked into a vacuum. It's like, <sighs> that's me. <laughs> All right, I wanna try to make this less aggressive. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. Clover, you gotta shut your mouth. Mama's doing stuff. Mama's doing stuff, you fucking loser. Yeah. I look insane. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm just gonna take this off and redo it. Yeah. <laughs> my, my lower lip is fine for the most part. All right, let's try this again. I 
Okay, I'm gonna stop fucking with it. This is just as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> she says as she starts fucking with it more. Can't stop fucking with it. Anyway, so this is the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Savage. Ooh, I just got concealer all over my hair. Oh, yeah. Yes, daddy. Woo! I hate myself. Okay, first impressions of the Kylie products. I really like them. I didn't think I was gonna like them as much as I do. I did think that I, I don't know. I just thought there was a lot of hype and I, it's Kylie Jenner, you know, she has like a lot of money and she doesn't really need to spend time on like trying to make money. So I didn't really think that like, I don't know. She did a good job. These look great. Um, the colors are really interesting. Um, the Velvet Liquid Lipstick, uh, that one feels very smooth on my lips. It is, I think, it hasn't dried down yet. So it's not completely transfer proof, but maybe it'll dry down. I'm not really sure. The lip glosses I also really like. I'm gonna try to layer Coco K on top of this. Let's see how it looks layered. Okay, so there is Savage layered with Coco K. And I think it looks really nice. I mean, first things first, these products feel very comfortable on your lips. It's not like I feel like I'm wearing 85 pounds of lipstick and maybe that'll change as, um, you know, it dries down further or throughout the day. But overall, I really like these products and I think they're definitely worth $15. The, yeah, so the lip glosses were $15. The liquid lipstick was $16. I did use some of my perks from Ulta. So they, I got them a little bit, I think I got like $6 off. But yeah, that's, I mean, those, that's my thoughts. Uh, you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. And now that you can swatch them in Ulta, I think you should definitely go in and, and play with them and see if you like them. And you know pick up one try it on yourself for a little while I think that it'll they'll be great and I definitely love that Coco K gloss <laughs> like I think that's gonna be like my everyday lip that I go to I fucking hate the name of it and in fact I hate the name of all of these I think the naming is stupid like literally Coco K <laughs> Savage I mean Savage I like I like the name Savage the rest of them can go suck my dick but the product themselves are great and I do think that they are worth the money and you should check them out. That's it. Subscribe. All right, so that's my final thoughts on the Kali Cosmetics products that I just picked up from Ulta. If you liked any of the products you saw, you should definitely check out Ulta and see for yourself if you like them or not. I think they're worth the money. I think you should check them out. I'm gonna stop repeating myself. Fuck me, dude. Anyways, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button. It lets me know that you like this kind of video and that you want to see videos like this in the future. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next and hopefully I can do that for you. I really enjoy doing these reviews and I get really excited about makeup, so I want to keep doing this for you. <laughs> you can find me uh, at Scandinative everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. See you next time. Subscribe!